Hi, my name is Kelsey from GrowYourFlow.com, and what it is, it's a hip-hop website that provides an outlet to independent hip-hop labels and artists across the country. And we're sitting here with... Jaron Benton. Good job. Yeah, I'm throwing D's on the Cadillac. Wind through the cater, nigga, bumping Burt Jackarack. You a fucking liar, faggot, never slung a quama crack. Bash your fucking window when I drag you out your front of gap. Tell your mom the zombies back, fucking hypochondriac. Gag a bitch and shove her in the dryer at the laundry mat. Coke and insomniac, sipping on some kind of yak. Dude, this fucking album sucks, I want my fucking money back. Disadvantage, I'm schizophrenic, these bitches panic. Dick and Janice, I'm popping Xanax and speaking Spanish. Nala come, nala come, blah, I ain't say a word. A fucking nerd. So, first of all, congrats on making the 2014 Double XL Freshman Dirty Dozen. And uh, what's it like to have Funk Volume on the cover of XL for three years in a row? It's fucking amazing. Is it? Yeah, I love it. It's good. It's yeah. good. It's it's kind of a big deal. So. No, nah, it's not a big deal because it's not Rolling Stone. Well, still, it's a good accomplishment. It is. It's, I'm yeah. It's a great accomplishment. Yeah. Double XL, thank you. <laughs> um. So. Anyway, also congratulations on the Independent Grind Tour. Oh, thanks. That's also an amazing accomplishment That's a for dope you. Accomplishment. Yeah. Um, what's it like being on tour with like artists like Tech Nine and with all the random artists out there? That what's it like? It's fucking dope. Let me tell you guys what it's like. Being on this tour is dope. It's a grind. We on this bitch for seventy eight days. We're going hard. Uh, every night we're giving y'all all. all, all uh, I can't say me. Well, most of everyone on the tour is giving you their all, except for me. Because I got a DJ that fucking sucks. He's horrible. He don't know the words to my shit. And he doesn't even cue the fucking songs on time. So, but I got a drummer that's dope. His name is Alien War. So besides my DJ, it's pretty dope. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good, yeah. <laughs> What's been your favorite venue so far? Probably this one. Why? Because you're interviewing me. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, has the Minnesota nice phase lived up to the hype it's been? Nope, because Kirby Puck is dead. <laughs> so I'm a little fucking... I didn't even realize he was dead. Like, that was my whole purpose. And that's the only reason why I got on this tour, was because I was like, fuck, okay, oh, I get to go to Minnesota. And I was like, fuck, I, I, I'm a big fan of Kirby Puckett. And to find out, he, I come all the way to Minnesota, and to find out he's fucking dead. That, that does suck. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm a little fucked up right now. <laughs> um, how do you keep in touch with your family on tour? Uh, I usually tie a fucking letter to a bird's feet and I <laughs> send him Just on his send way. Send him on his way? Yeah. That's a good idea. You know, that's, that's normally how I do it. Yeah. Or I'll fucking, uh, it's, this, it's this kid. He drives his fucking horse all the way across the country, and I'll just write a note and I give it to him, and he drives the fucking horse all the way back to Atlanta. Do you have to pay him a lot? Him. Or nah, he's just, just free? Nah, just we just barter. I'd usually give him like two goats or some shit like that. And, That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm sure he enjoys that. Yeah. <laughs> With being such a crucial member of a uh, best independent label like Funk Volume, how does this affect you as an individual artist? How does this affect me? Uh, how, how does what affect, affect me? Say oh, being <laughs> being on the label like Funk Volume. Like now being on a label, actually. How does it affect me? Yeah. It's good. It's <laughs> yeah, I, I get to do this 24-7 now. I yeah. get paid rapping. That's dope. Yeah, I fucking like it. You like it? Hey, did someone give you a pearl necklace? No, I bought it. Oh. Why? No, I was just asking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's it like being label mates with artists like Dizzy Wright, Hobson, and Swizz? Fucking sucks. It does? Yeah. Why? Well, Dizzy's cool. Swizz is cool. Mm. I hate Hobson. Why? Because, man. I'm going to tell you why I hate Hobson. It's a real story. <sighs> It's the first time I'm saying this shit, too. You know, Hobson, you know, the Illmind Hobson, he's, you know, he's anti-drugs, anti-this and that. And I believe him, and I was like a firm believer in it. And I can't say I hate Hobson. So we were doing a fucking show one night, and I go in this fucking dressing room, and he's doing lines of coke. Ooh. Not saying nothing wrong with coke, but it kind of like, 
It's like, man, you're you just contradicting yourself, man. And he's doing coke, and there's another fucking chick he got in the corner smoking meth. It was just like... Are you being serious? Are you it was fucking like disappointing. BS <laughs> Are you BSing I'm serious, man. Hobson's a fucking coke head. And is, I'm saying so. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's cool. Besides that, he disappointed me. <laughs> I'm working on a brand new album after the tour. Um... I kind of got the title, but I'm going to run it. Uh, I don't want to say the title yet. And then I'm doing another tour. Our homie Scales from Nappy Roots said yeah, that's that. The homie. Yeah, yeah. Said that you were featured on their new album. Yeah. Yeah. yeah how, that, how, do you like, song. how do you like working with them? Is, oh, is dope, good? man. That's like that's like extended family. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Very close to him. Yeah, they, no, they, they, they fuck with the, my producers, SMKA, uh, 808 Blake, Kato. They engineers, dope. So, uh, yeah. What's your favorite song you've sung so far? It's a song I've been working on. It's a piece, you know, it's sort of like how my new album's gonna sound. And um, I'm just trying to step into like, just more like the alternative world, I'm trying to mix it in a rap. But so this is the new shit I'm working on. It's a personal piece, I guess. Sounds like it. And I say, oh no, sir. I must say you're wrong. Yeah. I must disagree, oh no, sir. I must say you're wrong. Why don't you listen to me? That's me playing the keys, too. Is it? Yeah. I just gotta hit a hook, because this shit is like crazy. Good. Hold up. Just fast forward to the hook. Hold up. There we go. Here we go. The night, the night say, oh no, sir, I must disagree wrong. I must disagree, oh no sir, I must say you're wrong, why don't you listen to me? Hold up, hold up, like, this part, I fucking put my heart in this hook. Goodbye horses, I'm flying over you, goodbye horses, I'm flying over you, goodbye horses. No wait, this part right here, like I really went in. I'm flying over you, goodbye horses. I'm flying, flying, flying over you. Ooh. Yeah. So that's the new shit, man. So, you know. Just trying to, I don't know, man. I just want to do something different. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, yeah, what's your favorite pair of Adidas? <laughs> Flick Mutombos. Yeah. Where's your fur hat? Why haven't you been wearing it? You know why? Because I fucked up. I ordered a lot of fur hats and then they were too small. I didn't even try them on before I left. And when I got to the first show I tried, I was like, oh, fuck. Too small. Yeah. Shout out to H. <laughs> so, um... Other than yourself, who do you think is the best hip hop artist or rapper? Scat Cat. Scat Cat. You ever heard of Scat Cat? I don't know. I don't. Maybe like, if I heard the song. No bullshit. Scat Cat is a shit. Scat Cat was on a. Uh, you probably. I mean, he's more underground now, but the first shit he was on was Paul Abdul's the song Two Steps Forward and Two Steps Back. Oh. You ever heard that song? Uh, two steps for us and two steps back. We come together because I but it's a track. But the fucking, 
the the animated cat that's rapping on that song is by far my fucking favorite rapper. Like, cool. killing it. So before we wrap things up, do you want to tell everybody where they can find your music? Like yeah. Online or? Everything is Jaren Benton. Follow me on Facebook, Jaren Benton. Twitter, Jaren Benton. Insta Instagram, Jaren Benton. Go to iTunes, check out my shit. I got, I got some, I got some shit on iTunes you can purchase. My grandma's basement, the last shit I put out. Putting some new shit out now. Um, what else? I got a track, uh, Free Bass with Kevin Bacon. That's on iTunes. Get that. You know, support good music. And thank you guys for yeah, thank the you opportunity. For sitting down with us. No, and thank y'all. You can check us out on GurryFlow.com and then like us on Facebook and then follow us at Twitter. Hold up. Can I smell your hair? Um, sure. Anyway, you can follow us on Twitter at Grow Your Flow. Hey, I'm fucking talking to you, dickhead. Jaren, he's dead. He cannot hear you, idiot. Roaming every city, strips and grabbing every pretty tits. Y'all niggas playing hooky, Mr. Bit is really sick. Leaving the beaver, I'm leaving the beaver with this meat cleaver to his neck, and I'm making him eat ether. Kick a bitch in the face, cause she's a dick teaser. Did a song with Satan, and that's a sick feature.